Medjugorje and I'm with, what's your name? Uh, George, Jorge. So Jorge, where are you from Jorge? I'm from Canary Islands, Spain. Wow, beautiful. And when did you hear first time about Medjugorje? I first heard about Medjugorje 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah I was giving a book mm -hmm. about Medjugorje and I thought, okay, uh, maybe at some point I could go there. But I didn't know and years after I had the chance to, to come here and this is the second time that I'm here. What was written in the book that you said, oh, I would like uh, to come? The, the, the story about Medjugorje is called Medjugorje, mm -hmm. uh, written by a Spanish author. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing was uh, just uh, telling uh, uh, objectively about the viewers and all stories that happened here, the, the, the people praying, uh, Mm, thousands of people confessing and this uh, got my attention and I thought maybe it's a, a, a special place to go there and, and to pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, you said you, you came here? I came, what happened then? Yeah, I came here in 2019 and I had uh, the same attitude with my wife. Okay, we, we, we are coming here but uh, we didn't want to have this attitude like looking for uh, uh, miraculous things or weird things. Just we wanted to pray, to pray and we were seeking the peace, the peace that the Virgin offers here. So this was uh, our attitude. But I have to say that uh, the, the very same day I saw something uh, uh, that wasn't uh, normal uh, and I w I've been told uh, the same thing by other people that in this uh, place where the cross is settled mm -hmm. is called Krishivats mm -hmm. and I That's saw mountains. the mountain and on the top of the mountain I saw uh, that was very foggy and mist and some lights sparkling and I, it got my attention and I, I, I took it as okay this is there is something uh, really going on here but at the same time uh, I thought okay it can be miraculous but the most important thing is to to pray and to seek God, right? This mm -hmm. is the, 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 the point of this uh, place because there may be people just looking for miraculous things, but uh, it's, uh, what's the point of this if they come back to their normal, their normal and ordinary life, but they don't change, they don't, get, uh, the, they don't convert their hearts and they don't pray. So it makes no sense uh, to come here just for this. Mm -hmm. And you said you had saw another miracle when you were at the recent time. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, I remember this other, other thing about this statue of of, of Christ uh, uh, about the resurrection, and I I I've been told okay, uh, they saw that uh, there is some liquid coming up from his knee, mm -hmm. and they analyzed at some point and it's a synovial liquid. So I said, okay, interesting. So in 2019, I didn't see anything, mm -hmm. but this, uh, this time when I came, I've been there twice and from nowhere appears this liquid. And I, I go there, uh, just uh, I, I pray first and then I try to give thanks to God for this uh, mi miraculous deed. But uh, and, um, somehow he's offering something, but uh, the point of all this is to to, to get closer to him. I mean, uh, it's in the Bible and Jesus says, okay, uh, many, many miracles, but if, if, the, if this uh, uh, doesn't convert the heart of people, it's completely uh, useless. So the most important thing is not the miracles, it's the, the prayer and the, the, the communication with the Virgin Mary and with God. Mm -hmm. How would you describe this current? You said also, how would you describe this com communication? Would you feel God? You can just say, talk to you? How would you describe regular people who want to convert? How would you describe Yeah, it it's... Uh, uh, nowadays in the society it's very difficult to, to establish a communication with God because we are completely busy mostly with phones and everything. But I think this place is a special place to, to give up all this and to, to focus on the most important thing. And this is uh, true. This uh, is, is a, a, our life is an instant between two eternities and you have to, to look for God because in the end you will find him, you will meet him and uh, uh, he will ask you, uh, what have you done? <laughs> so you have to come here and the Virgin Mary is looking for you. Other thing that I, that I feel is that uh, people that come here somehow, they are called by the Virgin Mary. It's not that, okay, they, they decide to go, but somehow uh, she called first. And there is some reason. And in the last message of the Virgin Mary last month, she was saying, okay, Satan now is very strong. So somehow she's calling her army to come here. And uh, the, 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 main, the main weapon is the rosary. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, it's very powerful, no rosary. Right. You saw a lot of changes in your family when you prayed with your wife the rosary? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. And I remember always the, the words of this uh, Sister Lucia from Fatima that God uh, uh, has given so much power to the rosary that either problems, uh, spiritual problems or uh, worldly problems, they, they, they get the solution through the rosary. So it's, it's just... Can you give an example from your life, from your family? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, for example, uh, financial uh, challenges you know uh, it's it's kind of difficult uh, having children and all that and sometimes uh, uh, we felt uh, woof, very uh, in a very difficult situation but just uh, taking the rosary first you receive the peace of the virgin mary because she's the uh, queen of peace and uh, and second uh, the solution comes so just pray the rosary and you keep calm the yeah prayer absolutely prayer. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. beautiful and how would you describe the peace here? Hmm, it's, uh, I, I would say, yeah, because prayer is a, a, a mental activity, right? So outside of here, let's say that it might be a little bit more difficult, but here is easier, it's easier to focus, to pray. Yeah, so it, it just uh, flows is easier, mm -hmm. I would say that. Yeah, I the have to say that, that also. Yeah, okay. I, 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 yeah. Heaven touches us here, is that right? Exactly. Also, I think it's a, a there is an economy of the grace. So if you have in one place uh, many people praying, praying this, uh, this, uh, you can notice this, and this uh, helps you also to pray. Mm -hmm. Wow, wonderful! And what would you tell people? Why should they come to Medjugorje? Ah, they should, they should come to Medjugorje because, uh, uh, to, to um, because the Virgin. I mean, uh, we 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 are called we are called to meet God, but uh, through the Virgin Mary. I mean, uh, uh, God came to us through the Virgin Mary. So the Virgin Mary, it's uh, the masterpiece of God, and it's our mother. I mean, uh, He gave us uh, His mother. So we cannot refuse the Virgin Mary, and the Virgin Mary is calling you. So if you if you if you respond, if you answer her calling. Uh, it's. Uh, I mean, uh, you will you will be doing the most important thing. That is to 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 come closer to God and and to pray and Closing and to to, Jesus, to, uh, she leads to Jesus. Uh, exactly, exactly, and to convert uh, the uh, our heart. That is what we have to do. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, so nice. And is there anything else you want to say about Medjugorje? Uh, anything else? Mm, yeah, it's. Uh, uh, I, uh, we, it's it's important that. Um, uh, this uh, story about the viewers and uh, everything that uh, they they are telling we, we should uh, I mean we should uh, take into account everything that they are saying I mean it's not approved by the church still but uh, we uh, if, if I mean if it's true it's important and just uh, you have to you have to look the fruits of all this it's not you just uh, I, you are here and and you see how people are confessing, people are uh, praying for the first time, people uh, live with more peace, so it's uh, more than it's enough so reasons. Obvious, um, no? Yeah. Hmm. And you said you were at an apparition with Mar Mariana, how was that? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, with Miriana, that was in yeah, 2019, yeah. In, in April. Yeah, it was a whole experience. Uh, there were many people gathered around her and I was very close to her and uh, uh, you 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 looked at her and it seems uh, like a holy person. I mean, because uh, uh, recollected in, in in prayer, I would say. And also, it got my attention that um, at the same time, uh, uh, when the Virgin Mary appears to her, immediately I started to I started to hear uh, uh, yelling and people that uh, allegedly were possessed. So this also was very. Um, shocking to me right and uh, i remember some uh, possessed uh, crying out shut up shut up shut up uh, like uh, the virgin mary was talking to miriana but at the same time there were demons there that they didn't want the virgin mary to talk so that was very also powerful and reminds us that in the end uh, we are uh, struggling and there is a battle not against uh, human powers but spiritual powers it's in the bible <laughs> So yeah. powerful. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, for that thanks to you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.